Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in here on Raw Stat Reviews. Today we have another Lord of the Rings piece here on my review table. This of course is Lurtz, the Urukai leader who kills Boromir and then is subsequently killed in a fight by Aragorn in Amon Hen. And that's also what this base is inspired upon. Of course, a very iconic pose here from the movie, him shooting this arrow on Boromir. So fantastic concept here for this piece. I didn't plan to get the orcs, um, but I couldn't resist on the Berserker orc. Um, for that piece, I did a review a couple of weeks ago. You can check it out in my on my channel. And um, then a good deal came up here from a local retailer for Lurtz. And so, although I heard that he's underscaled, which is probably true, but only by a little, little bit, really. Um, and I didn't plan to get him. I had to pull the trigger and see for myself. And to be honest, guys, I'm super happy I purchased this piece because he is really awesome in every way, to be honest. Um, we will check this out in detail, of course, now together. So um, this guy has no switch outs, which uh, is pretty rare for Prime 1 pieces. Of course, there is an exclusive version available of this piece. I think it sold out, but it was available. Um, where you have two switch out arms, left and right, where he's holding a shield and the um, Urukai sword. But this one, he has the regular. And um, I could have gotten also the exclusive, but it would have cost me, I think, at least 300 bucks more. And that wasn't worth it for me because, um, yeah, it was just too much money. Of course, I would have loved to have the option to switch it out, but um, I think this pose with the arrow is so iconic that anyway, I would have used this probably for the most time. So super happy with the regular piece here. Fortunately, I cannot show you the exclusive items, um, but you may check out other reviews here on YouTube if you want to check those parts out. So we have this villain themed base here that started with Sauron, who had a humongous base with this um, kind of barrack door sub-base design. Of course, with the Elvish Mordor kind of um, letters here on this kind of bronze gold um, spike-like base. So I said, resembling the barrack door tower of Sauron. And um, then we have this Amon Hen inspired base here. Um, you've got an Urukai helmet. Um, you've got some nice kind of root um, and moss like um, forest underground base design here on top of that base. Some rocks. Um, which look pretty nice, to be honest. Um, and of course here in the back of the base, this nice um, little head of a statue here from that kind of temple here in Amalhan, where Frodo is um, meeting Boromir and then everything goes south when the Urukais attack. Uh, we've got some roots also crawling up here, these stones. So it, the back looks really, really nice. Um, I also love the kind of trunk here of that tree. It looks very, very good in my opinion. Um, also up there. So nice work that prime one. Here also the um, stone stairs look pretty good. Helmet, very nice metallic finish. Um, 
so I heard from other reviewers that they didn't like this kind of um, forest root base here. They thought it lacked detail and paint. I would agree to some extent, but I think it looks still pretty, pretty good. To be honest, I saw much worse bases, uh, even from Prime 1 as well. So this looks actually pretty good. So I'm um, very pleased with the concept of the space. Pretty compact as well. Um, you would think that this doesn't weigh much, but to the very contrary, this piece is very heavy. Base is heavy and statue is heavy as well. So it's a pretty compact but heavy one for scale piece. Um, now turning to Lurts, he's got this nice um, shin and boot guard protected boots here, um, nice leather straps here in the back, um, and then these kind of short boots but with this large armor here, um, very nice metallic, worn and Battle damaged look. And then he's got this massive line cloth which goes down here over his leg. Looks very leathery and very good. Um, then you have kind of his belt here and then more of the line cloth with different textures here on the front. Um, I think that looks really nice. And um, also the skin looks very good in my opinion. So again, from some reviewers, I heard that um, this skin is far less um, or far inferior than the skin and texture of the Berserker Orokai. Um, again, I would agree to some extent, but the Berserker one was more like painted uh, glossy because he's really in a fight and sweating. This guy, um, though, um, he is also in a fight, but here he is still kind of in the beginning of that fight against Boromir, and um, he is not that exhausted still, so um, it's relatively logical that he's not sweating that much. So therefore, I think it's perfectly fine to have more of a matte finish here on this skin. Um, which is super detailed, as you see, also with some scratches here and there, um, some old wounds, um, also this boot and looks very good. And then you've got the arrow back here, um, which is here connected with a pack to the kind of um, belt string here that surrounds his waist and also from the back i mean it's not much to it but it looks really good the texture here of this kind of um, part of that uh, whole suit looks very good check out the stitches here stitch work looks very nice overall really really impressed with the details again of this piece. Also the ripped apart shirt here. Um, you can see that this had long sleeves maybe at some point. But he ripped those apart. Um, also the arms look really nice in my opinion. Very bulked up this guy of course. Sorry for that again. Camera doing stupid things. You see. There again. Um, now check out these gloves here. Also very, very detailed. Looking really good. Hands look good. Same for this one. So very pleased with how this looks and um, the both arms are connected through the string of the arrow and the and the bow and so they cannot be separated so you have to place both simultaneously into the 
holes here in his shoulders and then you have to insert the um, pretty thick arrow here and then there's a little hole here in the hand where you place it in but you do not see any gaps so this is also very nicely engineered and then um, the bow looks amazing really nice design work here same as with the arrow um, i think that looks just badass to be honest as i said super iconic pose I think you have 360 here before we check out the head, which is the highlight of the piece for sure in detail. So check this guy out. Um, this is super movie accurate. Love the um, design here of the open mouth. Teeth look amazingly well done. And also the flesh tone here of the, the gums looks Absolutely awesome. Super sharp eyes, yellow, um, and of course the paint here with the hand of Saruman over his whole forehead and also down the cheeks looks so, so good. Details are amazing. For one four scale piece, the detail is just superb. Um, to be honest, guys, I do not need any silicone. I can get this amount of detail here with polystone. This just looks incredible. And also the hair is done really, really nice. So that looks just super amazing with the kind of little ponytail here on top of his head. And all the hair, long hair going down here. So this is like very stylish haircut, so must have a good barber here, this guy. Um, yeah, well, what do you say, guys? I think this looks absolutely amazing. Um, super, super glad I got it. So that was basically my review on this piece. Um, I would give this easily a 9 out of 10. Some minor nitpicks maybe with the paint on the base and that's really pretty much it otherwise it's just a perfect rendition here of this character from the movie and uh, i love it so i will or i am already fully booked here on this line going all in um i think i will even get the nas google although i was hesitant on getting them but I think I will just get every piece here of this line because this is just superb. Um, some of my most favorite movies and uh, also love the book and everything around Lord of the Rings is definitely my, my cup of tea. So you let me know in the comment section down below, please, what you think about this piece. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. Don't miss out to hit the notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a new video. And please give me a like, of course, if you have liked what you've seen. Um, this will help out the channel tremendously in being found and getting more subscribers. Um, can't thank you enough for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye bye.